checkbox and toggle button are important widgets for Android applications. So they pretty much similar in, in behavior. And checked, checked, and toggle button on and off. So let's get started how to create a simple application. So let's uh, start with a checkbox. So we will drag and drop checkbox uh, to the layout. So let's say uh, this button has a text. I agree with conditions. And let's drag and drop the text view that will be corresponds to the checkbox result and uh, will be somewhere in the mid middle of the screen. Let's say it will be just no information in the text view. So we just make make it empty. Checkbox with ID. Let's make it straightforward. Checkbox one. And we have a text view with text view one. So right now we're going to talk about how to attach listener to the button. So checkbox uh, button is very similar to regular button. So we, we can go here for the uh, layout part and uh, so we will uh, add the method on click and uh, for example this method will have a name on check box and as usual we press on the method wait for the bulb and check check create on checkbox view okay, so first of all we will create two variable text view txt and checkbox check okay, let's agree with this on create method to initialize both variables using find view by id cast result to the text view and similar things we have to do for the checkbox so let's write a listener for the checkbox so we have to um, access checkbox states and check the current state of the checkbox by using method is checked so that if this method return true you'll check it like this so in this case we set txt Otherwise, set txt to unchecked. So let's run the code. Okay, so we will play with this a little bit. So we see agree with conditions will give you checked, and the uh, unchecked button will give you unchecked situation. The same things could be done for the toggle button. So let's go back to main XML. The drag and drop a toggle button. So in the toggle button we have also the text view that we will make some way. And toggle button will have a ID toggle button and text view will have ID text view too. So it will be absolutely identical uh, situation with declaration of toggle button let's just name it as it suggested and one more one more txt1 elements we created here so let's assign listener to the toggle button i guess we will do the same way like we did before so we go into the text and attach uh, listener to the the toggle button by Android on click and you will name it on toggle something like this then we create on toggle 
in view in my activity. And process will be uh, absolutely identical to the checkbox. Just uh, to make sure that we'll save some time, I will copy this and uh, um, so the toggle button here. But instead of checked, I would use uh, text on. And instead of unchecked, I will use text off. One more things I need to do to uh, assign resources to the variable using find view by id and this is what I probably have to do it before but next view to cast android widget text view and the next one will be toggle button uh, find view by id r dot id dot toggle button All right, and one thing I have to change txt1 for the second uh, button processing because we're using different um, different text view for the different button. So, if you're using agreed conditions, we have check and checked. If you use a toggle button, we have off and on. All right, so this was a short video how to use a checkbox and toggle button. Thanks a lot.